well, um, obviously this is uh, part two, well, your second video today. Uh, so I wanted to talk more about the Inham's vlog from yesterday and my opinions on it in general. Um, so to be honest, I do think it should be taken down. Um, I think that it's one of those vlogs that should never have been uploaded in the first place. Um, but the problem is, is they won't take the vlog down because... You know, purely because they don't think they did anything wrong. You know, purely they don't think that they did anything that was disrespectful or anything like that. You know, but there are a lot of people who don't really have the same opinion on that. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people who I know I know whose opinions are very different. Uh, when it comes to yesterday's vlog and the fact they upload it, the fact they uploaded that vlog. It was just completely unacceptable. You know, there's not, there's not really anything good I can say about it. There's not really anything positive for me to say about this. Um, other than, you know, the vlog should never have been uploaded. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm angry, you know, as a server for what they did. But I feel like I'm more angry with the iFan. Because the iFan were constantly... You know, were jumping on people's comments, you know, and saying that they hadn't done anything wrong. And that really kind of pissed me off the fact that the iPhone was saying that. I just thought to myself, like, they must be sitting in the head to, you know, to even to even think about defending Chris and Sarah over, you know, something like this. You know, because there's no defending them for this, you know, for what they did. I mean, yeah, you know, it, 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 what any decent person would have done is they would have reported that vlog. You know, they would, uh, there was no, I mean, I, I uploaded it, I, well, I reported it as soon as, it, well, within minutes of them uploading it, as soon as I saw the title and the thumbnail of the vlog, that was enough to make me want to report the vlog. Like, I didn't even need to watch it. Like, my, you know, as soon as I saw the title and the thumbnail, of the vlog, it was like that decision was made, you know, it, it, you know, I just, I thought to myself, right, I, I, you know, this vlog needs to be reported, as it's just disgusting what they were, what they were trying, what they were doing, you know, and this is the thing, like, they, all they care about is money, you know, they, all they care about is the fact they've made, they've made some money from this, like, that's what they wanted to do. Oh, that's what they've basically done, is they've basically made money off of somebody else's misfortune. You know, and it's disgusting. You know, people will think that a lot of, a lot of, you know, it's some people who hold them, you know, it's somebody I can think that people who hold them out of it were overreacting. But I don't think they were overreacting. I think people were, you know, right to say a lot of the things they said. I don't think they said anything that was particularly negative or unnecessary. I think they only said what needed to be or really needed to be said um, in that respect. Like, there was no, there's no defending them over that vlog yesterday, there really is. You know, that vlog yesterday, I have, there's no words. Like, it's just, when you think they can not stoop any lower, they somehow find a way to do that. And you would, you, to be honest, I never thought they would stoop that low, you know. But they have shown, what they have shown time and time again is that there are no loves that they are not willing to stoop to. You know, there's a lot of family vloggers out there who I know would not stoop that low. That's why I have uh, that's why I have so much respect for a lot of the other for some of the other family vlogging channels is because they don't stoop to the sort of lows that Chris and Sarah stoop to. They don't do the things that Chris and Sarah do, like what they did yesterday with that vlog. You know, what they did yesterday with that vlog was completely unacceptable. And how many social media influencers do you not know would think it was okay to profit off of somebody else's misfortunes. Who would you how many social media influencers do you know would want to make money off of that? No decent person would want to make money off of somebody else's misfortune. 
You know, it, it, it has to be said. Like, every time I think about it, it just makes me so angry knowing that they thought it was okay to do that. And knowing that the I family defended them over it. You know, it's like the I, I mean, the I family really think it makes them look good defending Chris and Sarah, especially over things like this. Because they shouldn't be defending Chris and Sarah over things like this. Everyone knows that. Everyone, everyone knows the I fan should not be defending Chris and Sarah over this. But they still, but they, they, but they will do. Because they are not, you know, they are sick in the fucking head. That's the only thing you can say for the I fan is that they are sick in the fucking head. They are not right in the head if they're choosing to defend Chris and Sarah over things like this. You know, I, it, it, that much is blatantly obvious. You know, I don't know what else I'm supposed, I'm actually supposed to say. You know, what else do people want me to say? You know, I'm not going to be all nice about this. You know, I'm not going to be all nice about the fact, I'm not going to be all nice and be all positive about the fact that they're basically making money off of somebody else's misfortune. Because there's nothing right about that. There's nothing right about them making money off of somebody else's misfortune, which is exactly what they're doing. Of course, they're not going to think they did anything. They, they don't think they did anything wrong. Hence why they've not taken that, uh, hence why they've not taken the vlog down. Because they don't think, you know, it's purely because they don't think they did anything wrong. But it's not about whether or not they did anything wrong. It's about having a bit of decency and respect for the guy and for, you know, for the guy who collapsed and for his family. You know, it's just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable that they thought it was okay to put that blog out yesterday. You know, it's just shocking the things that they are willing to do to try and get a few extra views. I don't. I honestly don't think it gets any worse than that. Uh, gets any worse than this. I can't see how it could possibly get any worse than this. Unless one of the, his nearly died or ended up seriously injured, then yeah, probably that would be far worse. I mean, it's like, how would Chris and Sarah feel if it was their loved one that had collapsed on the beach and, you know, someone was filming, you know, and was putting that out there on a, on a public social media platform like that? You know... It's just horrendous, it's horrible. And it makes me sick knowing that the iPhone have defended them over this yet again. Yet again, fucking yet again. Yeah, the, the NMs are in the wrong. Yeah, I think Chris and Sarah are in the wrong, but they're the ones being but the but the iPhone are defending them yet again. When they when they are when they're quite blatantly in the wrong. And this is what makes me laugh. Is the I fam constantly trying to defend Chris and Sarah when they are bla when they are so blatantly in the wrong? And this is you know and this has to be said. You know, someone had to say it. I don't care if people think that I'm being or being too harsh about it. Someone you know, at the end of the day someone had to make that point. You know, and I'm perfectly willing to make that point. You know, I don't care whether people think that I'm being too harsh about being harsh about this or being too negative about it. You know, I really don't know what else to say. Like, I honestly don't know what else I'm supposed to say at this point. You know, there's nothing positive to say about this. There's nothing good to say about the fact that they've made they've made they've basically made, they've basically made money off of somebody else's misfortune. You know. I can't, you know, I can't, you know, I just don't understand why they can't just do the decent thing for once in their lives. Just do the right thing and take the vlog down. That's all they've got to do. Is just take that vlog, is just take that vlog down out of respect for the for the guy and the guy's family. But they're not going to do that as they don't think they're in the wrong. Like they, it's like they think, well, why should we have to take the vlog down if we're not in the wrong? But you know, as a matter of fact, they are in the wrong, whether they had to admit it or not, they actually are in the wrong. 
Oh yeah, 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 but on this, uh, but, um, uh, but, um, uh, but right now, Chris and Sarah are the ones in the wrong. As they are, they are the ones who have basically made money off of somebody else's misfortune, which is not something that hardly any other social media influencers would do. You know, they want people to respect them, and maybe they need to start doing the right thing. Maybe they need to start doing a decent thing, and they can start by and they can start by t- by taking that blob down. Because that's what they need to do. They need to take that vlog down. Simple as that. And I have nothing more to say on the matter. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you for another video soon. End of.